friends. Welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. So I'm going to jump straight in and show you the dried results. I haven't had a chance to resin it yet as I only painted this last night, but let's get nice up and close for you guys so you can see. And now let's get some light action on there. And you can see all these beautiful piggies just singing together. Obviously, when I get a coat of resin on this, it's going to add the depth and the dynamics that you usually see from Frosty Eye Candy. Uh, but here we go with the dried results. Now, we this is a bloom vine, blown out bloom vine, a simple bloom vine with only four colors, with a few little moss, frosty mods right there. So how did I get to this one? Let me run through some colors with you and then we'll get on with painting, okay? So first off, we are using this beautiful color by TLP. This one is called Ro Rose Quartz. It's a beautiful soft gold shimmer with obviously a tinge of rose to it to make the rose quartz. Absolutely beautiful piggy. So that's going down first and that one is the rose quartz. Now next in that piece of art, we're using this one here and this one's called Sockeye. Uh, there we go, Sockeye from TLP. It's this beautiful, lovely light salmon color with a gorgeous kind of metallic, goldy metallic uh, sparkle to it. So yeah, that's Sockeye, the next one. And uh, all of these colors, I've never used them before. I've had them for a while. I never mixed them up, so I thought it was about time that I did. And the next one that I hadn't used <laughs> before is this one. This is Ballet Slipper by TLP. Now, uh, I hadn't used it before, and this is one of, uh, one of the first ones I think they released, actually. But it's this beautiful, as you can see, gorgeous, soft ballet slipper color with a fantastic gold shimmer to it. So that's going down next. And then last but not least, we're putting this one down. This is called Aphrodite by TLP. As you can see, it's this lovely kind of deep, dusty rose color with a bit of a brown, brownie rose, reddy color with gorgeous metallic shimmer. So there we go, that's the uh, Aphrodite. And the sun activators that we're gonna to use today are the Shelley Art recipe of uh, Australian Flow Troll and Amsterdam paint. We're going to be using uh, the titanium white from Amsterdam, but I'm going to be using a CA Rust-Oleum gold mine as well. Uh, now with the Rust-Oleum, you just need to mix it up uh, a little thicker, uh, only about two or three to one with the Australian Floetrol to the Rust-Oleum to get a good CA. Okay, so that's enough of me waffling on, chitty chatting and getting tongue tied. Uh, we're going to get the camera pointing down and we're going to start to paint, okay? Okay then my friends, the first thing I should say is this is a 13 inch round and that's about 8 ounces of uh, Colour to Go by Sherwin Williams pillow uh, in the just the regular white base. So in we go for a nice close up while I lay these colours down. So this is the beautiful rose quartz. As I said in the intro, it's beautiful, beautiful light gold colour with a hint of rose to it and it really is a fantastic, fantastic colour. I love the way when we're doing these uh, simple bloom vines, the way when we use one of these kind of colours, almost an interference colour, it just frames the rest of the colours we put down so beautifully with a lovely faded border. and come out so prettily. And there we go, just adding a small thin line for our frosty mods that we're going to do later. So the next color I'm putting down, friends, this is the Ballet Slipper by TLP. A beautiful light pink color, uh, just like a ballet slipper, of course, <laughs> with a, a gorgeous kind of uh, beautiful gold shimmer sparkle to it. It's really very pretty indeed. And as you can see, this is a very soft and subtle color palette. I was going for wanting to go for something nice, soft and subtle. and. Uh, I hadn't used these uh, piggies before and I thought it was high time that I had mixed them up. So the next color that I'm putting down friends, this is the Aphrodite by TLP. Beautiful, very dark kind of reddy brown uh, with a beautiful shimmer, metallic shimmer to it. And again, just a lovely contrast for the ballet slipper that's underneath it and the rose quartz underneath that. 
So if you notice, I don't put any of the Aphrodite in the extra rings there for the frosty modulator. I feel it was going to make too much of a contrast and I really wanted the frosty mods to be uh, as subtle as they could be, uh, given that I've now just put down this fabulous color by TLP and this one is Afterglow. As you can see, it's this <laughs> just riotous, glorious pink color. Uh, with a fantastic, fantastic shimmer and almost kind of like a gold flash to it as such. It's really, really pretty uh, pigment and of course, as all of the others, I highly recommend you get some and check them out. So in we go with the uh, cell activator. We are using the Shelly Art cell activator recipe. If you would like to know what Shelly Art is, it's an online acrylic pouring course, one that I highly recommend. I shall put the web address on the screen now. And I also have a 15% discount code, which uh, you, uh, you can use and please share. Uh, and I shall put that on the screen right now also. So in we go, my friends, with the uh, titanium white cell activator and then the rust-oleum cell activator. Now, I was using the uh, Sherwin-Williams Color to Go, uh, the green label in the white base, and it seemed a little bit thick to me as I put it down. And as we can see with my uh, colors here, they're not moving a whole great deal, which um, actually is quite beneficial for the minimalist look that we're going for. But uh, there we go, there's one side blown out. And when we're doing these two-sided uh, bloom vines, let's call them, uh, you do one side at a time because if we put all of the cell activator down, by the time you get to the other end, it's already sank through your colors and pretty tricky to blow out. So that's why we do it in two halves, friends. So in we go for the other half. And while we're just waiting for me to do that, uh, I'd love to remind you about my show on Sunday afternoons at 2 p.m. And that's 2 p.m. PST, so that's Pacific Standard Time. That would be 4 p.m. Central Time and 5 p.m. on the East Coast of the U.S. My show, The Joy of Pouring, uh, it's a fantastic, entertaining time. It's a live show and uh, you can have lots of fun by subscribing and interacting in the live chat and also interacting with all of our fabulous co-hosts that we have in the live chat there. So that's my show again, The Joy of Pouring, Sundays at 2 p.m. So there we go, friends. I've blown out the vines a little bit. And I'm quite happy where we've got almost, you know, one side gold CA and the other side the white CA. Kind of a nice effect. And as you'll see, and as you saw from the little video at the beginning, the end result was very pleasing to the eye. Oh, I'm sorry, you probably heard my little cat meowing there. He wants to go out. So in we go for a super slow-mo, so you can see how I do those frosty modifications. They're just simple, concentric circles, a spiral, going down to a point, and then I always love just finishing on a little spiral there, just to end the modification and link it up to the whole actual piece. So when we go for a wide angle shot, friends, you can see me doing these modifications. I like pulling out some pieces of the actual bloom and pulling in some other little pieces with a toothpick. Also, always remember, friends, when you're modifying, you must clean your toothpick before you make the next modification. And if you guys just noticed that at the top of the screen, a really good trick to get any unwanted drops of paint off your pillow that you know, aren't where they should be, just touch them lightly with your finger and you can remove them easily. So when we go for some more of those modifications, just in case some of this paint does end up on the canvas, we know when we spin the piece, really it's only the two thirds or the one third in the middle uh, that really will uh, expand and we're more than likely going to keep on the canvas after we spin it. So while we're watching me do these modifications, I would love to tell you about our group on Facebook, The Acrylic Crazy Train. Please join us on Facebook, search us out, The Acrylic Crazy Train. It's a private group and it's a safe space for beginners of acrylic pouring to share their work 
get advice and feedback without fear of ridicule or people making mean or nasty comments. So that's the Acrylic Crazy Train. Please search us out on Facebook and join us there where there are many artists from all over the world just willing, waiting and willing to help you succeed. And there's another meow from my pen. Hi buddy, can you wait a minute? I'm just doing a voiceover. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys. So, as uh, you probably just noticed, what I'm doing around the edge of the uh, edge of the canvas here, it's called wetting the edges. For those that haven't seen before, or know and are new to Frosty Eye Candy and new to my videos, my cat is pouring and walking all over me right now. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so here we go for a, for the first spin, my friends. And there you can go. I love leaving my spins in real time, not speeding them up or anything, so you can see how long and how fast I spin for. You might also notice just my finger on the top edge of the frame of the picture, and that's catching any drips that make it down over the edge of the canvas onto my board, and I catch them with my finger before they get a chance to fly off and um, pebble dash my kitchen. <laughs> There we go, she's looking quite nice, just checking for movement. And in we go for the second spin. Again, you can see my fingers in the top left, just catching those drips. This is how we managed to keep a kind of clean working area. And I managed to keep my kitchen not covered in paint. So then we go for a slight close-up, guys, so you can see how the piece has expanded and how we've really only retained the middle part of the piece. So the two curls have made it off the edge, but that's fine because we wanted a minimalist bloom vine. And I think we have it quite nicely here. I love that the light is just picking up the beautiful flash from the rose quartz and then combined with the ballet slipper and then the Aphrodite it's just really great. I'm very happy with this color palette. Very soft and subtle. So I'm just checking the edges, guys, just seeing if we need another spin or not. Just helping a little bit of the paint over. So this piece is currently for sale and available, my friends. Here we go for a nice close-up of the piece. Please visit my Facebook store, uh, search Frosty Eye Candy in Facebook, or please check in the uh, description box of this video. You will find the link to my store there. So here's some lovely close-ups, and you can see those piggies just singing in such a subtle way. But I'm very happy indeed with how this piece came out. Thank you so much for joining me, my friends. Please like, share and subscribe. And as always, happy pouring. <laughs>